92, 95, 98, regular, extra, supreme, V power, ultra platinum. Are we talking fuel grades, army terms, or JoJo stands? If you've owned a car, you've pumped petrol. If you haven't, then well, you do need to pump petrol for your car. But when it comes to petrol pumping, why are there so many choices? More means more better, right? A higher number means more power, right? Does more better mean more power or better fuel economy? We'll find out today. Every petrol grade has an octane rating or octane number. The standard varies from country to country, but for Singapore, our main grades are 92, 95 and 98. The octane rating is a standard measure of the fuel's ability to withstand compression in an internal combustion engine without undergoing pre-ignition. Or, the higher the number, the more pressure it can withstand without igniting at the wrong time, which causes knocking, which is a huge no-no for your car. That's an engine knock. Knocking damages the engine and sustained, unmitigated knocking can lead to catastrophic engine failure. In essence, a higher number is a more stable fuel, so to speak. But what you need also depends on the amount of compression your engine is generating. That's why in every car owner's handbook and in some fuel caps, they'll specify what this car is rated for. You'll see a figure like 89 plus or 91 plus or 97 plus, for example, and they tell you what your car is rated to take. So more higher equals more better? Well, yes and no. See, it all depends on what your engine is rated for. If it's rated to compress raw 92 petrol and 92 only, then you wouldn't theoretically benefit from pumping 98 or even 100 up north in Malaysia. If your car is rated for 98 only and you start pumping 92, you're asking for trouble. But unless you're driving a super high compression engine like a sports car or a supercar, you don't necessarily need to pump above your octane rating. There's also an obvious price difference, which when you're filling up big tanks like 60 litres, 80 litres, it can add up pretty quickly. So, after all this, do owners actually pump their own recommended octane ratings? Let's find out. What car do you drive? The one tell you la. It's a Rato Forte. Mitsubishi Lancer. Is it a performance car? It is. What petrol do you pump? 95. 98 lor. V power. Why? My car needs a higher octane for the high compression engine. I do no power. Eh. I think the car runs better on V power. And the fuel consumption is also better, so it makes more sense to pump V power all the time. So, why don't people tend to pump the cheapest fuel they can run on? One common perception is that, well, more higher is more better, right? And especially in Singapore, you want to baby your car. After all, it's probably the biggest investment of your life, second to your house. But if we can get more power or more fuel efficiency without any risk of damage, then is it a worthy price to pay? Perhaps, but is it really? To find out, we task 5 to drive a blind test. 3 grades, 92, 95, 98, across 6 tanks to give it a little bit of consistency over the factors that we can't control. So you can see the reserve petrol light has come on. We are going to top it up for the first tank. We're going to fill this up with 95 octane petrol, which is what he usually uses. <laughs> Hi everyone, I have reached the halfway mark of this fuel tank. I must say, after driving for more than 400 km, uh, the engine does not feel as smooth as the usual Shell RAW95 that I always pump. As for response wise, I can't say there is a lot of difference. My guess is this is still a RAW95 uh, tank. This time with 92 octane, so let's see how that goes. I'm on my second tank of uh, unknown fuel. Overall, I believe this is a better tank. First and foremost, I would like to talk about the fuel consumption. It's uh, at 7.8 liters per 100 km at the halfway mark. Overall, uh, the car is happier. It's a bit more eager to rev throughout the whole rev range. I don't feel like it's faster in any way, but it just feels happier at any point of the rev range. So overall, I feel like this should be a uh, round 98. Tank number 3, done 92, 95, this is going to be 98. I'm on my third tank now. 
and as you can see it's at the halfway mark according to the meter it's showing 7.6 liters per 100 km a bit better than the second tank which was about 7.8 liters per 100 km i think this is better i don't think it's conclusive because i feel like this tank i've been traveling a bit more on the highway as for the engine response and smoothness uh i feel it's pretty much similar to the second tank nhv wise i think an idle the, the vibrations it's, it's also pretty much similar my guess would be this is a 95 yes i am aware that i said my first tank is also 95 and if i can i might want to change that guess to actually a 92 because that definitely feels way more a uh, rough not as nice to use than this tank while the second tank would probably still be a 98 so hi guys we're gonna top up the petrol again because the mileage is done and this will be tank number four and we're gonna be topping up fuel grade 95. i'm on my fourth tank now and you can see earlier that i'm doing about 7.6 liter per 100 km this is not much difference from the previous two tanks in terms of uh, smoothness the car feels its best at its best i don't know whether it can be any smoother engine response wise it is probably quite similar to my previous other two tanks i guess will probably be this is a 98 uh, so i'm on my fifth tank and as you can see i am doing about 7.6 liter per 100 km which is also similar to the previous tank as compared to the last tank i feel like this tank is slightly smoother throughout the rev range the response is also slightly better and in fact i think it's as smooth as the engine can actually be hence i think i have my main error on, on my last video or rather the fourth tank and i actually think that tank was a 95 and this tank is actually a 98 and now we're gonna top up the second set of 92 let's go I'm on my sixth and last tank actually and at the halfway mark and I'm doing about 7.9 liters per 100 km so yes this tank is not as good as the previous tank but I must say that this tank is like this because I actually went to JB for a quick getaway the slight jam when I'm doing the crossing might have contributed to this not so ideal assumption numbers moving on to the engine response I think the engine is actually pretty much normal I would say very comparable to a 95 tank same goes for the power wise and at idle it doesn't feel any rougher than the other tanks it doesn't feel sluggish my guess is this is a 92 actually uh, why i say it's a 92 because previous tank might have cleaned up the engine with its additive so it doesn't actually feel so rough like the first tank so these are the results of the test let's see what our driver thinks what do you think about, we, we've tested 98, so do you get any significant benefits from 98 if you? No, not that I feel so, uh, now that I know the results. I mean, the car feels pretty much the same as I go from different tank to different tanks. So do you feel like 98 isn't worth it? Uh, no, 98 it's not worth it, at least not on my car. Maybe because I'm not driving a performance car, so I don't feel much of a performance difference. Like I mentioned just now, in terms of NHV, whether the car feels happier, at different parts of the rev range or whether you idle smoothly or not you all kind of feel pretty much the same so over the course of the six tanks has it changed your perspective on the different roms in 92 based on what i've been reading on actually Kama and all the different advices that the editorial team has given out i understand and listen to their advice and realize that there's not going to be any difference and now that i've done the test for myself i feel like there's really no difference so does that mean you'll start pumping 92 I would pump 92 if the petrol kiosk that's nearest to where I stay has 92 but it doesn't so 95 will do. Anyway, I believe 92 and 95 the per litre difference is like 1-2 cents? Yeah, 1-2 cents or something like that. So I don't think it makes such a big difference. So that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads if you made it this far. Also, don't forget to follow us on TikTok. We are at SGKama. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Damn. Beside the white box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 95. Why? Oh, the cheaper. 92 will be cheaper. Uh. 95. The lower grade. 92. Huh? <laughs> yeah, 95. The lower grade. Let me show you. Oh, I said, I said no pack. Ah, I said no pack.